another thing that's headquartered out here in Colorado, uh, courtesy of Maurice Strong. And Maurice Strong is the de facto head of, of the UN. Maurice Strong, uh, very much closely aligned with Mikhail Gorbachev and Prince Charles, Prince Philip, and, uh, his wife, uh, has a major, uh, presence here in Colorado, in Crestone, Colorado. They have about a 150,000 acre ranch down there. And, uh, there's a book that's put out by Dr. Michael Kaufman. The name of the book escapes me right now, but all you'd have to do is plug in the name Dr. Michael Kaufman, C-O-F-F-M-A-N, under Google, and all of his publications will pull up. But in one of his books, he goes into real detail about the, the, uh, coalition of New Age religions and New Age movements that are all headquartered in, in Crestone, Colorado, which is on the eastern side of the San Luis Valley, which is a very large uh, valley it's about the size of Massachusetts. And that's, and that's what we basically have to combat because they put out a lot of disinfo. Oh, yeah. They put a lot of, of mystique and conditioning on people. To, the, the crystals are evil and blah, they don't know what people touch, you know, scaring the Christians away from the whole thing. And it's one of our best defenses. Crystals is one of the most purest earth products formed by God himself. Yeah. And it's, it's fighting them, it's combating them, and more people need to get involved. And we're just so outnumbered. I mean, if, when you look at just Denver, and you, you look across the United States, all the little hubs that they have everywhere, we're surrounded. Well, we're absolutely surrounded. And uh, I myself, I've been surrounded for a number of years by, uh, and tried by to kill a lot you, of very they? evil types. And they, they've tried to silence you, haven't they? Oh, yeah. And they don't like yeah, you going around talking about... I'd be a lot, a lot too vocal for them, and uh, I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on the phone talking with the people all across this country and uh, purposely uh, speaking uh, my mind uh, and purposely bringing up certain words or phrases that I know uh, are in the Echelon Dictionary. And I can't begin to tell you how many times I've been cut off in mid-word in, in, in these conversations where... This would be on a hard line, my business phone, and uh, the other person on the other end, we'd be cut off, and we'd be losing our dial tones for five or ten minutes before we were able to continue our conversation. But uh, because of the things that I've gathered, the dots that I've connected over the years, uh, there's been a lot of attention uh, brought down on me. Uh, and those that uh, are always listening, and I'm sure they're listening now, they always do, but uh, as I say, that those who are listening for better service and quality, they're always on both sides. Just like everything that exists in the world, there's always two sides to everything. And uh, I, there's been at least seven attempts on me in the last nine years, attempts on my life. Those are the ones that I know of, and they usually happen in subtle ways. You know, it's not like anything you'd see in a movie. You know, <laughs> if they don't go ahead and plant a bomb in my truck or... <laughs> You know, shoot, you know, uh, you know, like it was uh, some sort of a Hollywood movie. I mean, most of these attempts have been guised as uh, business coming my way, uh, where somebody would ostensibly call me out of the yellow pages or, you know, uh, somebody would call me because they were a friend of somebody that I had done some work for previously, and it was uh, coming to me as a, as a, a potential job uh, where I would be... Uh, uh, given an appointment to, to, to be at a certain place, and I knew where the certain place was, and that was a place where there would be no witnesses, and I would just conveniently disappear. Right. And so uh, I have been shot at before out here, though. That, that's for sure. And, and, and there's people that you've run into, just, you know, enemies over the Internet that have, that have taken hits out on you. Isn't that true? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. In fact, uh, recently, uh, there, in fact, uh, there was an attempt on me July 19th and I was called by somebody who had come into my life some years ago. And I was called that morning and, uh, there was an attempt on me and, uh, that attempt was taken care of. But, uh, the two individuals that were making this attempt on me, they kind of disappeared. But uh, before they disappeared, the IDs that they were carrying uh, were CIA identification, but they turned out to be MI6. Now, British do you see the teal cars? Have you heard about the teal cars? 
seems to be a, a color right favorite of theirs. Do you see that out there, or, or the big white paneled vans? Uh, I really don't see stuff happening around me. Usually, it's in the distance, you know. Not not that I'm not followed around, but uh, I usually am uh, watching things very close. But you know, I don't walk around being a, a real paranoid in a real right, paranoid state, you know. You. I mean, he's he's had his hand over you the past, you know, since you've stepped out. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean. I, the fact that I'm still alive proves to me the existence of God, proves to me the existence of Jesus Christ. Right, and we, we have no fear. For those who are going to do his will and his work and his authority, he protects. Absolutely, you know. But the thing is, is that, you know, I've learned long ago that uh, I never used the word fear. I never used the word scared or worried or fearful. And, you know, all of these words and all of these feelings, these emotional feelings that they the Illuminati, whoever they are, whoever them or whoever they are, that's how they want us all to feel. They want us to feel, feel fearful. Yeah, and, and you know, that's that what I'm way. noticing amongst all the people that are out there every day fighting against this thing is that they're not fearful at all. It's the people sitting on the fences and the sidelines that are fearful and not getting involved because they're, they're afraid. Oh, the yeah. people that are that's in it, they have their hand shut. on them that's every why day. Their ears shut. They're that's ready why for the they next keep day. their mouth shut. That's why they wring their hands and go, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> you know, the, you know, and if people, are, more people are waking up every day. I, I, I get emails every day from people that hit my sites, and they're just like, "Wow!" You know, they're, they're shocked, and then they're writing me back weeks later saying it took them that long to read through everything. And it, they're waking up, so it's, it's, we're getting somewhere with it. Well, sounds like I'm hearing some music in the background there. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for being with me, Tim. Well, I appreciate the invite, and I appreciate the time on air, and I, I know that there's so much more to discuss. I mean. We've just barely uh, pricked the surface on, on this, you know, because there's so much more to discuss. All right, well, thanks a lot for being with me. Thank next you very week. much, Sherry. I appreciate it. Anytime. Take care, be safe, and God bless you. And then next week, uh, Lisa Giuliani and Victor Thorne will be with me, 10 o'clock. We to use in time next week. I'll see you then next Friday. God bless and good night. I'm Steve Quayle, and for over 10 years and thousands of hours of radio broadcast, I've been warning and preparing individuals and families of the great perils that are now upon us by having interviews with some of the more interesting and controversial guests in the country. It benefits you to listen in to my previous radio broadcasts, which are available by subscription to archiveondemand.com or by calling Steve Melching at 260-356-2611. Time is running out. The information you may gain could mean the difference between life and death. So once again, call Steve Melching at 260-356-2611.